many of you know, I consider the Ruger Bearcat to be the perfect 22 6 gun. They was introduced in 1958, and they were just perfectly sized to the 22 long rifle cartridge. They uh, they were just what shooters needed. Those little single action kit gun. What the uh, Smith and Wesson kit guns were to the double action, perfectly sized for the 22 long rifle cartridge. Um, the Ruger, as someone who loves single action six guns, the Bearcat has always held a place in my heart ever since I was a little kid because they were just perfect for 22s. 22 is a perfect cartridge for uh, for kids or for adults. Um, if I, God forbid, ever had to have one cartridge, it would be the 22 long rifle. You can do darn near anything that needs to be done at least in these parts with it. I wouldn't want to go hunting elephant with them or anything like that, but uh, I don't imagine I'll ever be hunting elephants. So to me, I just love a 22 long rifle. And since the Ruger Bearcat is a single action revolver, which I also love, and is perfectly sized and suited to the 22 long rifle cartridge, naturally the Bearcat is one of my favorite six guns. Uh, I've got a bunch of them. They started making them in 1958. I got a bunch of the old ones. They stopped making them. Uh, the original Bearcats in 1970, and they brought out the Super Bearcat in 1971, which was a steel-framed version. Still a great six-gun, a little bit heavier than the original alloy frame Bearcat, but still a great six-gun. And uh, when Ruger transitioned over to the new model Lockwork in 1973, the Bearcat, the Bearcat got left behind. I guess they couldn't really make the geometry work in the small frame or something, I don't know, but... For whatever reason, the last original Bearcats shipped in 1974, and uh, they languished until 1993, I believe it was, that Ruger brought out the uh, the new Bearcat. And the new Bearcats are basically a slightly updated Super Bearcat. They are they're great six guns. They're really as good as they ever was. I just love them. A lot of variations on them now. Uh, Lipsy's was uh, instrumental in Ruger bringing out the uh, Shopkeeper Bearcat, which was a short barrel and a bird's head grip frame, which I also love a bird's head grip frame. And the short barrel made it even easier to, to carry around. And so the uh, Shopkeeper was an even an improvement on what I considered to be a perfect six gun. Another vast improvement that, uh, that Ruger came out with a few years ago, thanks again to the folks at Lipsy's, was a uh, Bearcat with adjustable sights. And uh, that is even better because there's a lot of variation in 22 long rifle loadings. You can get everything from standard velocity to 22 shorts. You know, you can get all kind of different different loads for the 22 long rifle and they're going to shoot to different places. So once you get a specific load that you really like, it's nice to be able to dial that in and have an adjustable sighted version. Also, the sights are easier to see on the adjustable-sided Bearcat, so it's even a little bit better. And uh, just a couple of years ago, Lipsy's had Ruger bring out, which was really a cool six-gun. That is the uh, six-inch barreled Bearcat. This was a fixed sight, six-inch barrel Bearcat, and I just loved them. I just flipped out over them. Our buddy Jason at Lipsy's, made sure that I got to keep the very first one off the line, to which I am eternally grateful to him. It shoots great. I love that gun. And uh, that kind of, the, there's only one thing wrong with that. To have a six-inch barrel Bearcat, you know, you're nipping at the heels of a true target Bearcat. And uh, I imagine probably they'll, uh, they'll come out with a six-inch barrel adjustable-sided Bearcat one of these days. Because uh, Ruger and Lipsy's are real good about bringing out the improvements just a little bit at a time. So they keep getting my money. <laughs> and that's okay. I got nothing better to do with it than buy Bearcats. I love Bearcats. And I've got many, many variations on the Bearcats. Even a couple of customs. I've got a couple of Hamilton Bowen 22 Magnum custom Bearcats with uh, adjustable sights on it. And I've got an, an Allen Harton 32 Magnum. Bearcat five shot, one of my very favorite guns, and everybody that sees it tries to buy it from me, but y'all don't forget about it. For right now, it's a custom deal, and this is what I've got today. My friend Bobby Tyler at Tyler Gun Works in Freona, Texas, 
has come up with a Bearcat package. That's a six inch barrel adjustable sided Bearcat. I sent him my uh, my early uh, adjustable sided standard Bearcat, which we did a, a video and article on several years ago. And um, he really made it better. Bobby took the barrel off of it. He put on a new six inch barrel. Furman Garza is a great friend of mine also from Texas and uh, he's a, a skilled machinist. Uh, uh, used to be a cop, but uh, as Jeff used to say, we've all done things we're ashamed of. Uh, Jeff loved Furman too and Furman was a very good friend of ours and has been a very good friend of ours for many, many years and continues to be. He's a great guy and he started making uh, custom sights for guns and he offers a really neat sight for the Bearcat, which uh, I reviewed a while back. They're a little bit taller than the regular Bearcat sight. They're much more precisely made. They're almost flat on top, almost square on the back. They are wonderful for just about any kind of lighting conditions that you would encounter. And uh, they're heavily serrated on the blade, so that really makes them easy to pick up in lighting conditions where a lot of reflection, like a, the standard Bearcat rounded uh, sight, he's just, yeah, he, you know, you get different kind of light reflecting off of it. I've seen that, I've seen those guns shoot to different points of aim at different times in the day with the same loads and everything, be shooting a whole lot, and your point of aim would wander because of the light conditions on the front side. Furman's sights do away with that. They're much more precise. You can get different heights if you want them. Uh, you can get different blade widths, you know, depending depend on how much air you want between the front side and the rear side, that how what what your, what your eyes can pick up. Uh, and Furman will do the he does these sites custom. He does them to your order. He does them at a reasonable price, and he is extremely knowledgeable on what makes a revolver shoot accurately. And he he knows that the front sight is a big part of that. So he makes some great front sights. Bobby put one of his front sights on this uh, six gun and it works just perfectly it's 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 uh it's really it's faster to pick up even than the standard ruger front sight blade on the adjustable sights uh, the ruger blades are okay they're they're a ramp front sight and they, they're pretty good but they're not as good as the Furman sights and for just a little bit of money you can significantly upgrade an adjustable sided bearcat with one of Furman's sights so bobby put that side on there he uh Color case hardened the frame, the hammer, and the trigger. Really made it look pretty. The back strap is part of that, so the uh, back strap is all made in the same with the frame. And uh, so that's color case hardened as well. Really pretty. He took the, the uh, Bearcat roll marking off the cylinder, which just gives it a little bit more business like appearance. It's very pretty. He put the six inch barrel on it and he set the uh, barrel cylinder gap to three thousandths of an inch, which is just perfect. He, put a really nice crown on the barrel it's not a really deep dish target type crown but it's a good all-purpose crown that he puts on the barrel and crowning a barrel is extremely important to the accuracy of a revolver if it's not perfectly square perfectly straight then your bullet is going to be shot one way or the other as it comes out of the barrel if it's not even these are perfectly even and this revolver shoots to prove that for another aesthetic touch, Bobby put on a set of stag grips. He fit them himself. He makes them himself, and they're perfect. They're just uh, they they look like they grew out of the grip frame, which is what you want. Not only because they feel better, but because they just look good. And a good custom gun, especially, deserves to have a good looking set of grips on it. These grips that Bobby puts on there are just that. Bobby went through the gun. He went through the internals. He uh, slicked up the action on it. And gave it his basic accuracy package, and uh, it just shoots great. It's up. Uh, it's hard to say anything bad about this gun because there's nothing bad to say about it. When Bobby first started deciding that he wanted to try to do something with Bearcats with the adjustable sight and the long barrel and all that, he gave me a call and he said, "Bo, you got a Bearcat you could send me?" And he's got to laugh because he knows I got a boatload of them. But uh, I was only too happy to send him a Bearcat for him to work on, and. The results of it I'm extremely pleased with. Uh, I won't go into the pricing of it so much here because each one of his uh, custom guns are just that. They're custom guns. They're made to your order, to your specifications, and they're made how you want them to be made. Might vary a little bit from mine. 
there's a wide variety of options you can get on these things from uh, different kind of sides, different kind of grips, engraving or not engraving. I chose to not get this one engraved because I've got one of his engraved shopkeepers, and it's a wonderful gun. This is going to be a using gun, but I did want to get a color case and all that because it's just cool. Uh, but what you want may vary a little bit, so get a hold of Bobby. I'll tell you this. The price is not going to be as much as you think it's going to be. I was very pleased with the results. It shoots great. It looks great. I'm proud to have it, and it costs way less than I would have expected it to cost. They're great little six guns from Ruger and from Tyler Gunworks. I've got this Tyler Gunworks six inch target Bearcat in one of my favorite uh, holster rigs. This is the Chesty Fuller harness system from Rob Leahy at simplyrugged.com out in Prescott, Arizona. Rob is a good friend of ours, has been for many, many years. He makes great leather. He makes it at affordable prices. And this Chesty Fuller rig for somebody, especially somebody like me who wears overalls almost all the time. So I'm hardly ever wearing a belt to wear a belt holster. The chesty puller system is great. It, it'll take any pancake holster and adapt it to a chest carry as opposed to a belt carry. But beyond that, he offers this uh, conversion system where just about any uh, any belt holster at all of any design, like for it to be worn on a belt, can be carried on this rig just by, it's got this little pad here, it's got a little piece of belt you just slide your belt holster on there and snap it in place, and that's all it is to it. The Chesty Puller System is a very nice, rugged, simple, as his name implies, and affordable system, especially affordable when you consider that it works with any belt holster you got. Um, you can switch them out on the same harness, which is what I do. I've had this harness for, oh, geez, several years, and it's, it's, uh, it's really served me well. And I just love it. It's probably my favorite chest rig from Rob Leahy at Simply Rugged Holsters. The holster that I've got on this rig right now is one that my friend Mike Doc Baranti made up, Baranti Leather, uh, up in, up in uh, Pennsylvania. He made this up for my six inch Lipsy's Bearcat that they came out with a couple of years ago. You know, when Jason at, Lipsy, at Lipsy sent me that Bearcat, he said, you need to get a really nice little Slim Jim rig made up for that. And boy, was he ever right. This thing is really cool. It fits my adjustable-sided Bearcat just fine. It fit my uh, fixed-sided Bearcat just fine. When I gouge a little bit of leather out with that big old Furman front side on it, but that's no problem. I've got it broke in real nice. And here a while back, uh, I tested the uh, Cimarron 1862 uh, pocket coat conversion using this holster worked perfectly for that too and so it's just been a great versatile little holster and it's beautiful it's all custom floral carved by mike baranti who is nothing short of an artist in leather uh your stuff's not cheap but it's not cheap it's you know it's not cheaply made it's all done personally by him he carves it all out uh he crafts the leather all himself it's a wonderful wonderful holster he's a great guy and uh, get a hold of him at BarantiLeather.com.